Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Outer Worlds. Last time we finished up at Roseway. We turned in all the research we had found. And then we made our way back to Groundbreaker. Where Gladys gave us the nav key to... What's it called? Stellar Bay? I think that's what it's called. No, that's... I forget what it's called, but it's the Monarch Planet where we need to go. And we also uh, talked to the Parvati, and she wants to throw up a little, little date night for Jun Lee on the ship. Uh, we still need some supplies from Monarch for that date night, so we're not doing it quite yet. But we'll keep it in mind for when we go there. But right now, today, we are going to be headed to Phineas's lab. We're going to check that out. Docking Bay. Which apparently it's difficult to land. We arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain. Damn, and we are Phineas. Still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Congratulations, Ada. You did a great job. Damn. This guy owns his own asteroid. Look at that thing. How did he even build that? That's crazy. I feel like he had to have board connections to get this thing built, right? Look how close you are to the ring, too. That looks awesome. Could you imagine? Traveling to, like, Saturn and seeing the rings this close? Man, that would be crazy. Ah, maybe in my next life. Okay. Let's go ahead and head out and see what he's got going on here in the laboratory. Um, for this? Who do I trust to bring with me to Phineas's lab? Parvati. And probably Sam. I don't know these two well enough, really, to risk bringing them to uh, somebody with this big of a bounty on their head. I'm sure they know by now that I'm in league with them. But I don't know. I just... I'm a little weary about bringing them. So, and then Max, I don't think he'd betray me, but I don't trust him as much as I trust Parvati or the robot who is pretty much designed to be loyal to me. So we're gonna bring these two with us. Look at this, this place is awesome. I already have landed. This looks a lot like the docking bay. Uh, uh, hello? Can you hear me? Does I can. This work? It does work. Oh damn it, blast, that's loud. I'm guessing that door up there will lead to him. So we're going to look somewhere else first. You know, I mean... I don't know why. I still, for the life of me, have not figured out what this symbol means. 20 of 50. What, what does that mean? I'm really surprised that the game hasn't told me that yet. As far as I'm aware of, I don't remember seeing anything about it. I looked in the, the codex at the different symbols and didn't see anything about it. So I don't know what that means. I got a little... How do we even get in here? Must be... Is there like doors way out there? Yeah, it must be what those are. This I'm cool. just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. That's good. I brought people that I trust with all of my being with me. So you don't need to worry. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Kind of sad. Hey, Phineas. Bubbles. Uh, hey, man, what's, what's going on? Oh, thank the Lord. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. That's good. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, mm, cysty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. You've got cysty bits? So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My 
secret hideout is your secret hideout. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, da, 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 da. For what it's worth, I appreciate you pulling me out of the hope. I, I really do. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I didn't have much of a choice. I regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. I wanted to talk to you about something else. Of course. What's on your mind? Well, you see, is there some reason you're hiding behind bulletproof glass? Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. That makes sense. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. That's where all the toilet paper's gone. You've been taking it all. Uh, got a moment to talk? Absolutely. Let's talk. Have you met my crew yet? No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. Nice to meet you, Dr. Wells. I'm Parvati Holcomb. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? <laughs> Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret... Carefully concealed laboratory. It isn't as if I wanted privacy. Relax. They're with me. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. Oh, we were about to go touch things. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew such as they are. You're a talented scientist after all. Our kind has always been incredibly popular. Hmm. Actually, I worked in a factory, but I suppose I, it took a certain amount of scientific know-how to operate it. I am doing pretty well for myself. You're right. Yes, indeed. Well done. Also, you still haven't spontaneously liquefied, which pleases me immensely. Progress. It pleases me as well. Uh, there was something else I wanted to talk to you about. On your mind. That's it. Now I'm gonna go touch all your stuff if you don't mind. Start over here. What's this thing? Assist pig. You don't mind if I just, you know, take this stuff and scribbled note. Reminder. 14. Remember it this time. Absolutely vital. 14, 14, 14. Alright. Don't forget 14, Phineas. Yeah, you don't need all. He, he doesn't need all these. Uh, you've got some messages. You want me to read them out to you? Accessing message queue. Password required. No. Okay, that's fair enough, I Careful, suppose. That's my communications terminal. Ah, uh, yes. I need this pocket watch for uh, keeping time. So he's running experiments on animals. It seems like I'll take this wolf. Oh, you know, I'll be I'll be done in just a moment. Hibernation helmet. Ah, your old hibernation mask. Had to remove it, you know, in case you were prone to vomiting. I appreciate that. Is it good? No, it's not. What's this? Hibernation chamber. You spent over four decades in space with nothing but the technology of this little chamber keeping you alive. The rest of your fellow colonists are still trapped in similar chambers, waiting for you to restore them. Reviving you from hibernation was my greatest accomplishment. Your odds of survival were a mere 28%. Oh. Well. That's not good. This is terminal. I'm gonna look at your notes real quick, alright? I can calculate the movement of the heavenly bodies, but not the madness of men. Newton. Accessing experimental notes. Logs, experiment number 1173. Eureka! Flash frozen organic material reverts back to its original cell structure when treated with tinct 
the tincture from dimethyl dime sulfoxide. Rate of explosive cell death, a very respectable 6%. Bad news, difficult to acquire, limited quantities of, of compound, likely produced by Anticleo. Recently discontinued due to severe adverse reactions. Must find more. Logs. Experiment 938. 12. Artif artificial stasis successfully induced in cyst pig specimen. 0217. Revivication complicated. Cyst pig tissue returned to living state. Brain tissue suffered from rapid nucleation. Attempting treatment. 0558. Treatment progressing. 0820. Treatment failed. Brain tissue irreparably damaged by de or by rapid onset ne necrosis. Necrosis? 0851. Explosive cell death. 0949. Finished cleaning liquefied remains of cis pig from laboratory floor, walls, and equipment. Alright. I'm glad I wasn't a cis pig. Uh, logs experiment 1083. 0216. Fresh out of Auntie Cleo's. Experimenting with Spacer's Choice, partially emulsified creamer substitute. 0218. Finished brewing. Adding 2 ounces Spacer's Choice. 0220. Atrocious. Felt part of self die on the inside. Reminder. Add support Spacer's Choice to the list. Note to self number 2. Buy more mouthwash. Cyst pig notes. Have spared one of my stock of experimental cis pigs to be used as a renewable source of nourishment. I've named this lucky pig Bubbles. Giving an animal a name establishes rapport and creates a positive emotional bond. Allegedly improves flavor of tumors? Must look into that. Excellent creatures, cis pigs. Don't know how people used to survive without these genetic wonders of, of porcin succulents. Porcine? Succulents? Uh, slaughtering a pig for meat instead of harvesting tumors that ripen naturally, falling off the flesh like mock apples off a tree. Seems the height of barbarity, truly a miracle of modern science. Huh. That would be an interesting solution to our food issue, huh? Root, we turn to root. Uh, personal files. Password required. All right, what do we have here? Dehibernation experimentation notes. Raising core temperature another 5 Celsius over 1 hour. Dosage appears to be working. Slight diffs from process and cyst pigs, not beyond expected boundaries. Microscopic assessment shows no sign of sudden traumatic mast cell wall collapse encouraging. Reminder, still need to mop up pig. Need to get a view into the cranium, t cranium, into the cranium to see what's going on with neurons. Oops, hand slipped. Likely effects? Ah, uh, nothing important. May have numbness and left heel. Whoever needs that. That's what I've been feeling all this time, damn it. Looking at is looking at sample. Evidence of hyper hyperactive production of dopamine and uh norepinephrine. Curious. No evidence of entropic 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 effects of neurons, however. I would have never made it as a scientist. Uh V excited. Now, if only I can keep them from exploding. Raising core temperature another 5 Celsius. One hour. Oops. Forgot I had probe and brain jostled with elbow. Uh, subject may suffer numbness in right earlobe. Acceptable. Damn it, Phineas. I should have turned you in. Feel ridiculous telling. Mostly frozen slab of meat. You're doing fine, Bruce. Practicing bedside manner. Important. Aids recovery. His mannerism... Here in the writing, at least. Or maybe it's just the way I'm reading it. Reminds me of, uh... Uh, Morlin from Mass Effect. It's very quick. I don't know. Uh, curious about that neurochemical product production. Side effect of prolonged hibernation? Subject may experience, uh... Uh, tachypsychia? Exaggerated flight or flight response? Checked brainwave, found sharp uptick in perceptive slash cognitive processing when I jostled the probe. Fascinating. Equivalent to speed of common fly's brain. Could be useful in stressful situations. Subjective time dilation. See world moving in slow motion. Would any would everyone from Hope 
have this sort of brain damage, or is it peculiar to Bruce? Can't wait to awaken more from hope, study, and detail. Is it even right to call this effect brain damage? Seems like enhancement to me. Who wouldn't want to an who wouldn't want an all so, all call cyber fast cognitive response? Am I envious? To expand the span of a breath to an eternity? To be able, just for a moment, to perceive the world in all its infinite detail? Core temp up, still stable. No sign of cell wall decay. Neurological necrosis. Beginning next five Celsius over one hour cycle. Yes, I believe I do envy you, Bruce. Now, you know, you could always go into hibernation for 70 years and I'll wake you up. Note, reminder, obscure body and the SK system. Interesting. SK system. What is this? Pick up poster. Oh, we didn't need that poster. Note, reminder, buy ladder. You need a ladder for. Oh, another poster. Take it. Now it's just pick. And note, reminder, seals leak. Never use this pod. Oh, was that the pod I was put in? Hello. And a raptodon? Nothing here. Where's that weapon I'm supposed to find? I thought we'd find a weapon here. Hmm. Did I miss it? Is it in there? Can I get in there? I'm assuming I wouldn't be able to get in there. No. Okay. Maybe we have to wait until he lets us in. Unless... Pick up Shrink Ray. Jock weapons in R&D departments. Science weapons. Science weapons are unique weapons that have strange and powerful s side effects. Uh, science weapons, da science weapon damage and the strength of their effects both increase as your science skill is increased. Jock engineering ensures our bottom line and fire rate rates are sky high. Uh -huh. I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. I did. Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. You better believe I will. Alright, that's weapons from the void. So that's that one. So, Hawthorne's Terminal. Wait, now, review the Hephaestus Mining Archive on Hawthorne's Terminal. Okay, so I gotta do that when we get back to the ship. And this one... Uh, Gladys's Shop for old records. I think these two might be related. Let's go back to the ship. See you, Phineas. Thanks for all the loot and the uh, shrink ray. And nice talking to you, buddy. I guess that's his ship. Must be the ship we came on. When we first got, you know, saved. Well, Pavarotti, he, uh... I don't think he liked you very much, but that's okay. You don't need him. Alright, so we need to go to... Oh, we acquired poster. This is going to be in our room. Or just around the ship, maybe? I don't know. Uh, terminal. Yep, yeah, search Hephaestus Mining Archive Cartridge for keyword weapon. Key Keyword search result. Result number one. From the site supervisor's personal logs. That captain sold Harris something called the Rearranger. Then left before we discovered the damn thing doesn't work. Only thing it rearranged is the number of bits on Harris's cart. Looks like some strange tech or a weapon. Maybe a scientist can make something of it? Result number two. From the Site Safety Officer's Incident Report. Doc Colfield couldn't save couldn't save Lim. Now I gotta arrest Harris for his murder. Confiscated that weapon he used and stored it in Bertie's office for now. Figure the least the site supervisor can do is fill out the forms for whoever that damn thing is. For whatever that damn thing is. Don't know how I'm gonna detain Harris. Not like we got prison cells on this rock. Result number three. From Barber's Coronary Inquest. Given name, uh, Limuel. Family name, 
Harryford. Employment, status, indenture. Contract terms, 35 years, 2 months, 16 days, 5 hours, 33 minutes approximately. Remaining, time of deceasement, 1827 hours. Oh, that'd be 1827 hours? I don't know. Military time. Uh, cause of deceasement, blunt force trauma. Weapon unknown, took a good whack to the noggin. The facial area had to be specific to be specific specific about it. It's all twisted up too. Nose is five times too big. Jaw is shrunk to almost nothing. Teeth are all out of all out of kilter, though I suppose that was true pre deceasement. If the blow itself didn't kill him, there's no way he could have breathed with all that damage. Sounds like he got rearranged, huh? Uh weapons from the void. Acquire the science weapon on Skilla. At another of Hawthorne's logs mentioned looking in Gladys' shop for old records. Apparently the smuggler acquires several leads that way. That's where we got what we just read. I'm pretty sure. But uh, next time we do go to the Groundbreaker, we will look at that. But I guess... Where do we want to go now? Do we want to go to Skilla or Monarch? So this is Skilla. Solution vital. This is going to Skilla as well. Dr. Dorset said the Captain Irian. So two side quests on Skilla. Uh, companion quests, find sweetheart cakes, and buy a dustback casserole uh, from Chief Raymond in Stellar Bay and Cascadia on Monarch. Pretty sure both of those are Monarch. And then the Empty Man, you need me to go to Monarch, so both companion quests are on Monarch. And then this, uh, Lilia Hagen needs someone who can, can navigate to Stellar Bay on Monarch, so four on Monarch, two on Skilla. So I guess it depends. Do we think we'll be going to Skilla afterwards? Skilla is one of the largest asteroids orbiting Halcyon. The largest is a group in a grouping of rocks known as the uh, Caribidus cluster. Caribidus. Hephaestus Mining once claimed the asteroid, but it is prospect. Its prospecting site was abandoned decades ago. I think we're going to Monarch. I think we're going to go to Monarch. So we got the most quests to do, so we'll go there. And then afterwards, maybe we'll go to Scylla. AG-111A, Monarch. One of Olympi Olympus's many satellites. What should have been Halcyon's second habitable world has long since been abandoned by the board due to monstrous, ravenous creatures. And let's be honest, that just sounds fun. Uh, which one do we want to go to first? I guess we're going to Stellar Bay first. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. And look at that. It's like a Jupiter. It's a gas giant. You can see the clouds moving really fast on it. So cool. All right, who are we gonna take with us? I'm thinking, who did we take to Roseway with us? I'm thinking we're gonna take Ellie and Felix. I don't think we took Felix with us. I think we took Ellie. It took Ellie and Max. Although I guess Max does have a quest here. Maybe Felix and... Hold on. So you... We have we have to buy that here for Pavati. And... In Fallbrook on Monarch. Don't know where that is. Okay. We'll take Ellie. And Felix. Monarch. Raising your ranged weapon skills unlocks time dilation location hits. Oh, really? For example, shooting an enemy in the leg cripples your target, slowing them. Ooh, look at this place. We really need to use our time dilation more. Man, can you imagine living here? Waking up to that? It's just kind of scary, to be honest. Everything's <laughs> massive. 
Okay. Anything on the docking bay? So this place is supposedly abandoned, but they said that about Roseway too, and it wasn't. Stellar Bay. Status operational. Insert captain's identification cartridge to initiate remote landing. Okay. How do I get it? How do I make it go? Oh, hello. Guess it's not abandoned. How do I... Hello. Oh, it's stealing. Okay. Wait. No. Ow. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Cellar Bay. You are new here, right? I am. Well, that... It, uh, you seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. What are they doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-road traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Right. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. Go for it. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Mm. Do I prefer to travel discreetly? Not really. I'm not. I don't think Bruce here is really worried. He's got a ship. Captain Bruce. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. Oh, thank you. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Well, thanks, Grim. You are delightful. Yeah, you're not what I expected to find on Monarch. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. Did he just say raptodons and cannibals? I can't wait. <laughs> Are you saying the board's been lying about this place? Oh, sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kind of goes over my head, though. Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Alright, I'm gonna have a look around town. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? You seem nice enough, sure. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Really? Only I haven't heard anything in a while. Do you think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Uh... Who's the Black Hole? Boss, come on. Black Hole Birdie, the Holemeister, the Hack Attack. Ah. Uh... That's Birdie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest tossball hackers ever. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or something? Something like that. Why is he called Black Hole? Or the Black Hole? On account of him being the best hacker who ever played? Nothing gets by him. He sucks up every ball that comes his way. Hmm. He sucks up every ball that comes his way. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe word that differently. Well, Holcomb's had a lot of nicknames over his career. He used to be the tallywhacker on account of what he'd do to the score. Before that, he was a slick stick, because the shots were always so smooth. <laughs> These are all great names. You're making this up, though, right? I swear I'm not. At the start of his career, people called him the hack boss, but no one thought that was very catchy. 
the hack boss. Uh, this poster sounds pretty valuable. I couldn't really say. I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Hmm. I can ask about your poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss it. Well, thank you very much, Grim. You were very helpful. We got some more, uh... Uh, vending machines here. This is a new one. We haven't seen this before. Have we? 29 armor. 29s. Is that better? This is the same. Okay. And then taste the creep. This is Spacer's Choice and Auntie Cleo. We've seen them before. Hello. Wouldn't mind smelling like Saltuna if we could sell more of it. Well. I'll buy some salt tuna. I mean, it's like all we have to eat, isn't it? Nice weapon, but buddy. I got one, too. I feel a little special now, though. I'm gonna have to... I might have to get rid of you. We don't get many outsiders. The Yacht Club. This is like the nicest looking town we've been to so far. Bennett. Laws. Can a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? A stogie slim? You've got a lot of brass for a man doing absolutely nothing. What I am doing, sir, is enjoying the moment. It's so rare that I can seize one apart from the jabbering masses of this wretched place. Hmm. Your neighbors probably aren't missing your company either, come to think of it. And how should they know what they're missing? I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board-affiliated town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's Best and all the cereals before Sanjar took over MSI and got us all booted. You miss the good old days? Days of consumption and culture when we weren't squabbling with the iconoclasts for lack of better things to do. Look, you're making me melancholy. Is there something you wanted? I'll leave you be. So is that there the entire... Are we like, uh, what's it called? Tidally locked to that planet? Is it always like this? Would that make sense? I guess it would. So when it's daytime on the planet, not that you can land on it because it's a gas giant, it would be nighttime for us. I see, I see, I see how it works. What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our lives. Every time the punch clock peels, a worker earns his meals. What are you talking about? Sorry, I thought you were quoting It's a Wonderful Directorate. <laughs> Light years from Earth. People born out here might not might never see Earth. It's a crazy thought. Resident, you look special. Nayoka. Which quest is this? Is this our main quest? Yep. Phineas contacted the, the broker through a well-known monarch big game hunter named Nayoka. She frequents the yacht club in Stellar Bay, so look for her there. You look cool. Uh, I guess we'll talk to you now. Look at that. Hey. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the... tell the blood from the mud. Keep listening. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby wrapped stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. 
Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Me? Uh, well, I'm Bruce. It's a pleasure to meet you. You have the look of my next companion about you. So that's going to be nice. Uh, are you always this drunk? I guess I don't know. I'm Bruce. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, charmer. Sure don't I am. get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Uh... Sure. Another round. Bartender. Outstanding! What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to Brass Nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's... Let's talk business. Let's do that. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Uh... I'm not in the mood to fetch things. How much time do you need? More than you have, I suspect. I plan to sit here and drink until I find myself awoken sober. So, in the morning? <laughs> Alright, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. Mm-hmm. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. I am a wily person. Um... You don't even know what you're taking? And if I can't get this steroid? Yeah, uh, you mean caffeinoid? That stuff's, that stuff's just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Uh, sure. I'll be right back. Alright, well. I do like her look. She's a little unprofessional, though, if you ask me. I'm just saying. And we all know Bruce is the, uh... Naoka Bar Talk Bingo Sheet. Several phrases have been marked off. Right between the eyes. Uh, there were three. No, four of them. That rap was this big. Took it down with one shot. Buy me a drink. So she spends a lot of time here. As I guess we could have assumed that before I read that note. Alright, there's the bathrooms. Hello, resident. 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 You okay, buddy? Well, we don't get many outsiders. Yeah. Seems to be common most places we go to. Watch your step if you venture outside the walls. Will do. Ah, look at this little balcony. Caleb Herrick. Hello? New face, huh? You from off world? Uh. N yep, Captain Bruce of the Unreliable. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here. Let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? What are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered, free of responsibility and worldly cares. That's... Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. Yep, yeah, I was about to say. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. Hmm. Won't you get in trouble for that? I don't see how. When Sanjar took over MSI, he tossed all the old corporate rules. We ain't required no more to work whatever job the company demands. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. Mm -hmm. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch, we're free from the board, you know? 
We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. You should be able to do that even when you're part of the board. Uh, I happen to be pretty good in negotiations, you know. I wouldn't doubt it. You look like the type who tends to come out on top. Not like us cogs, trying to be the squeaky wheel but just getting deadlocked. It's been days, but Velma won't even hear us out. Maybe you could just make her listen to our demands. I'll mediate on your behalf. You would do that? We sure are lucky you decided to come up to the patio today. I knew drinking up here would be good for more than the view. Let's talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Uh, how long can you afford the miss work? Not forever, but we've each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two at least. Hmm. Any suggestions for how to put pressure on Belmont to negotiate? If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. Hmm. The others wanted to blackmail her, but we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. What's this about blackmail now? I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know, but, well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. Mm. So far, it's just gossip, you know, but if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. Let's see. Interesting that it would be in the warehouse. You think, you know, it'd be somewhere where the, the workers wouldn't be able to get to? I guess there could be, like, a private office there. All right, let's go talk to the bartender. See what he's got to say. Well, well. Like your mustache. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drinks on me, stranger. Well, thanks. Enjoy. If you plan on sitting through Nioka's stories, you might could use a few. I could use a few and tell it them myself. Now, what can I do for you? How about you know Nioka? Anyone who spends any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nioka. On account of her being here so often herself. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean that unkindly. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Something else I can do for you? Alright, so she's well liked. That's good. You said you're not used to seeing uh, new faces around here. Oh, wrong Anyone button. who spends any... And I... Any... Not since Amber Heights. These days we have more leaving than coming. Off to join the Iconoclasts or some such. I heard about them. Uh, what happened at Amber Heights? Bunch of marauders broke into the executive compound, slaughtered everyone. Corporations pulled out of Monarch not long after. Hmm. I thought everyone knew. But then that was ten years ago. Still feels fresh to us every time we look at our walls, though. Ten years, huh? Why is this place called the Yacht Club? But it had a fancy ring to it. It does. Name's the first advertising anyone sees, after all. Are there any yachts in Stellar Bay? Nope. But a man can dream. Can indeed. Uh, let's see if you have, do you have anything interesting. Uh, just some booze. I guess we could sell. Uh, we probably should have broke down some of these weapons and armors. But uh, let's go ahead and sell all the, the food. So much food and booze. We keep the drugs, even though I'm not using a whole lot of them. But, oh, we can sell the junk. Keep all the mods. Yeah. Next time we find a workbench, we should uh, check our mods. Make sure we got everything up to snuff. All right, let's keep exploring this place. So we picked up a couple more quests. We gotta find some some uh, caffeine for what was her name? Nayoka? Is that her name? Uh, Sebastian's Adam Life, or Sebastian Adam's Wildlife. Whatever. Canidize, right here. Wildlife Emporium. Uh, do we want to go in there right now? Zhang's Emporium discovered. Oh, 
It's the workbench I was looking for. Hey, Zing. Well, well. The only new folk I ever see in town are sublight runners from Fallbrook. But you don't look like one of Catherine's. What can I get you? I'd like to trade. If you don't see it, I don't got it. Don't go asking for the special reserve. So this place seems pretty big, and we we know that there are two other settlements, right? Cascadia and oh, what were they just talking about? Fallbrook. So this is going to be a pretty substantial planet, I feel like. Do you have anything uh, super super interesting? Heavy machine gun, flamethrower. Oh, what about these? Claw rake, stun baton. Uh, trip blade? Nah, nothing I really am uh, looking for. Oh, your armor. 36. Not better than what we have. Because we found that really good helmet. Uh, any cool mods? Thug kit. Increases melee skill and defense skill. Power attack damage, 20%. Plasma damage. Okay. Let's go here. Let's break down the guns that we are not going to be using. We should have put should have put these in our uh, personal chest back on the ship. All right, let's tinker a little bit. Let's see, can this be modded? Do you want to tinker the ult ultimatum? It will cost 37 bits. Why is that costing bits? Wait, what is it? Oh, it's increasing the damage. Oh, that's what tinkering is. It's not modifies what I was thinking about. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize that's what that was for. So if I find something I really like, I can just increase its damage. By quite a bit. Nine damage there for 90 bits. That's pretty good. Let's tinker the, the heavy machine gun. A couple of times. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. But we wanted to check our modifications. For you, sure grip, weapon durability, sure. And... Is that all we can do? Okay, so for our attack... Oh, cool changes the ooh mr n damage type n ray minus 50 percent damage the odd little device makes the melee weapon glow so deeply purple that it hurts to view it that looks pretty cool we could go with this power attack damage plus 20 percent or this it changes it to plasma Mr. Ouch seems pretty good. Let's put that on. Neat. We got here. Critical damage. Or firing noise. We'll go with the critical damage. And for this. <clears throat> excuse me. A magazine size. That wouldn't be bad. Plasma or shock. I oh, got a little light there in the center that changes colors. Look at that. Hmm. Damage per minute. It seems like it's a good one. Yeah. Increase the magazine size for it. Cool. And then our hunting rifle, which is really falling off. Uh, we probably need to tinker that, huh? It uses heavy ammo. I think we are going to retire that, maybe. Maybe put the uh, shrink weapon there. And for my elite armor, we can put a skill kit on, skill kit on it. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one. Dialogue and leadership skill. This is, yeah. There we go. Okay. 
let us go here. Man, we look cool. And we're going to put that here. Okay. Let's see, where do we want to go? Ah, oh, this place is so big, I don't know where to go. Sebastian Adams, hey. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? Uh. You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? I do like mostly fresh animal parts. Why would I want any of that? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Hmm. Who's Celia? She works for Sanjar at MSI. She's also Stellar Bay's biggest collector of canid incisors. And I should know, because she buys them from me. Mm hmm. And Mr. Pickett? He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. Manta Queens. I don't think we've encountered Manta Queens. Have you seen a Manta Queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Why was he so interested in them? Who wouldn't be? Uh, people who value self-preservation, Sebastian? Uh, okay. Did he say anything more specific? He kept talking about collecting a queen to take back to Terra 2. Didn't make no kind of sense to me. Manta Queens won't let you collect them. Wait. Did we hear mention of Mr. Pickett when we were exploring that uh, museum type place on Terra 2? The community center? Because there was that exhibit that was waiting for a Manta Queen. I bet, I bet Mr. Pickett was involved in that. Hmm. Where have you seen a Manta Queen? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett, but I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Tell you what, I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Yeah, that seems fair. All right then, leave town through the southern gate, the one right here, and head past the abandoned ruins. Last Manta Queen I saw was in the wilds out that aways. Could be Mr. Pickett still out there, too. All right, what do you have for trade? Oh, good. Celia hasn't come by in a few days, so I haven't sold much. Okay, I don't need any of that. And I'm assuming that's all stealing. So that's the gate outside. Agnes need him. A lot of people need help, it seems. Sir, please, I need your help. I can pay. Well, luckily for you, I help people. Oh. Thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Hmm. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Probably. It's more dissolving than melting. Sure. That is not helpful. <laughs> uh, where'd you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Mm. Why would Tucker run away? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. All right, what's the catch here? Where would he have gone? He's been listening to those awful broadcasts that the Iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them, but did he? No! Mm -hmm. And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already! <laughs> Where's Amber Heights? That old settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. 
know which is worse, the thought of my son shacking up with the nutty iconoclasts, or that he never made it. Sprax could be nesting in his rotting body alongside the road as we speak. It's true. Or, or maybe Marauders got him, pulled all his teeth out, crushed him into their drugs, and made him snort them. <laughs> oh, the things that could happen to my sweet baby. Yeah, quite the imagination. Uh, what were you saying about the iconoclast? Yeah, who are these people? Those low-life degenerates, leading innocent boys into a life of danger. Oh, they make it sound so exciting. Like it's noble to risk it all out there, fighting for the greater good. Not sure I'm seeing the problem here. You're one of them, aren't you? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself, young man. Just as your mama would be. Oof. How noble is it to worry your loved ones? Not at all, I say. But still they preach their sermons of anarchy and rebellion to anyone who listen. If they weren't holed up in Amber Heights, I'd knock them all upside the head. Did you say there was a reward involved? Nah, I'll help you find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclasts indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. So I'm guessing that uh, this is a grown ass man. And uh, he has a very overprotective mother. That's my guess. Is this a little back alley? It sure is. All this loot I could take, but I won't. All right, we really need to find this uh, Sajar guy. Is that his name? How big is this place? Uh, not too big. Zeng's Emporium, the Yacht Club. Still got to go all the way around there. We got a little bit. Probably find one more interesting thing before we need to end the episode. I really like this city. It's really nice looking. Help! Someone's been killed! Huh? I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh, pull yourself together and tell me what happened. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... Mm -hmm. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Sure, you have reported to the proper authority, and I will deal with it. Bottom one on the right. This is a new one. Saltuna of the Deep Merchant Machine. Ooh. That's new armor. That's new armor right there. We will take it. See how it looks. It looks very blue. It is very blue. Alright, we need to go. Sorry, body. I need to mod my gear. There are more important things. Uh, we can't take mods out, right? I don't think so. So right now it's got factory stock, stock armor plating, which does nothing. We'll put that on it. Uh, we have no gadgets to put on it. That's unfortunate. Uh, since we don't have the dialogue one, we'll put this one on. Melee skill and defense skill. And for the last one, sprint speed or... Interactable highlight range. Take that one. Okay. Cool. I think this one does match the helmet a little bit more. The blue instead of the red. And the yellow matches my scythe. That, yeah, that actually goes pretty well together. All things considering. Cool. We got new armor. Pretty happy about that. I do wish uh, we got to see our character a little bit more than we do. Uh, it's always been 
There's not like a, a third person mode, is there? That I've just been missing this whole time? Could be. Alright, let's check out this room before we end the, the episode. A murder? Hey, is this the part where we go hunting for clues? It sure is. Not much I can do for this guy. Nah, he's dead. Dead as dead can be. You got steel magnum. Am I allowed to take that? I mean, I'm looking for clues, right? Ah. Toss ball betting slip. The betting slip lists some increasingly bold wagers made for a team called Mostly Colonists. It's from left field toss ball betting. Alright, that's probably what we need to follow the lead on. But what's this? A bag? Hastily packed suitcase. Several ragged outfits, all of the same cut and color, were stuffed into the suitcase. So he was running, it seems like. Anything in the bathroom? You know, he doesn't need this. He's dead. Alright, uh... What was that one called? The stainless steel rat. The victim had a betting slip from left field baseball betting. Perhaps someone there knows what happened to him. So that's a place we have to find. Okay. We will do that and a lot of other things in this town. Beginning in the next episode. We'll also explore the rest of this apartment complex. Uh, this place has been really cool. I'm liking it. We got a new piece of armor. We're picking up a whole bunch of quests. We found who I highly suspect to be our final companion in Nyoka. I think that was her name. Uh, who we need to wake up with some stems. Well, not wake up, sober up. Uh, so that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to seeing what else is on this planet. Seems like there's a lot on this planet. But uh, we'll have to wait until the next episode to start exploring the rest of it. Until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will catch you later.